What's up guys? Told you that I would do a kind of a formal review on the tilt and uh, I've had it for about a week now so I think that I, I feel comfortable giving my opinion on it. I did end up getting three of them just because this is my absolute favorite knife and uh, it's so rare there was only like 300 of them made and the steel is so rare and expensive that I wanted to be able to use this knife hard without worrying about breaking it and never getting another one so I did get three I mean they're all they're all the same thing just higher numbers I guess I mean they all came pretty much exactly the same uh, there's one in particular that isn't nearly as smooth as the other two but whatever is okay it'll break in and if it doesn't then it doesn't matter really so uh, there's been a lot of I don't know this is one of the most polarizing knives that I've, I think I've ever reviewed because I got like a thousand views within four days of my first tilt video and I got more dislikes than I ever have on any video I think so I don't know if people just don't like the fact that I got the knife or that I got so many or what but I promise you guys I'm, I'm not super rich I will have to sell a lot of my stuff so that I can kind of I don't know offset the cost of these three knives so it's not like I can just go drop a grand on knives every week I'm not I'm not rich by any means I just manage money I guess so don't dislike me just because I got it whoever did that I don't know really your reason behind it but I guess there will always be people that hate you no matter what you do right anyway let's get to the knife uh, it came with no blade play it came super smooth as you can see and it stayed that way there's really nothing nothing has changed not even the lockup since I've got it and I've flipped it probably fifteen hundred two thousand times I would have to guess but that's what I would guess in between 1500 and 2000 times because I find myself just constantly sitting here flicking it different ways just maybe I'll spin it around and pinky flick it something like that but I'm constantly messing with it and uh, so it's pretty durable I did notice that the lock bar where the, uh, the lock bar meets the tang of the knife is DLC coated and I know DLC is much harder than titanium, so I think that would stave off a lot of wear in the long run. So it'll be interesting to see how that DLC interacts with a, a frame lock design. I'm curious to see if it'll wear off or it'll just keep, keep going strong and prevent wear. But only time will tell that. I did notice that uh, they milled in the word tilt right here. I don't know if you can see it but they did mill in the word tilt at kind of a slant like that so that's a pretty cool little thing that I didn't notice right when I got it I thought that was neat uh, one thing I have noticed is the detent is actually pretty strong in this knife it takes a lot to overcome that detent but I noticed when I was standing up I just kinda of gave the knife a good flick and it opens like that you don't have to touch the uh, the flipper or the thumb studs or anything you can just give it a a sharp flick down and that blade will fly out and if you're standing up with your arms face down like that all it takes is a little flick and it comes out so that's pretty neat actually I don't see it as a problem I see it as a another feature uh, I have cut with a blade now I used it in the kitchen and it's actually <laughs> It cuts like crazy. It cuts like a laser beam. I don't know if it's the, uh, the straight worn cliff edge or what, but using it in the kitchen, it was perfect. I mean, I I could make really good slices. I did a lot of julienne. I did a lot of chopping. And when I was got, trying to get the stuff off the cutting board, this flat spine is perfect for scraping the cutting board. So it's actually a really useful blade shape. I know a lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. 
But if you're going for just utility, this blade shape is actually very, very handy. Uh, the, the needle tip is easy to get in and, and slice open packages. I know that the grip is very comfortable if you want to get up here and you're trying to trace around a clamshell package. I did that the other day. Uh, I have problems with controlling the tip of a knife like this. If you're trying to open a clamshell package, it's, it's kind of cumbersome to hold the knife like that. But this thing, you can hook your uh, middle finger right in the chool and you have really good control of that tip right there. So for EDC tasks, I would say that this knife is probably more useful than this knife. And it's not because I like this knife more, it's just a blade shape lends itself to be more utilitarian than this blade shape for my task. It, your task may be completely different, but I have noticed that I get more use out of this blade shape than that. And I didn't think it would be that way. I thought it would be the exact opposite. But this blade actually does cut very well. And uh, the Vanax 75, I haven't had to strop it or uh, touch it to a stone, and it's still, it's still razor sharp. I'm take a piece of paper right here. This is thicker paper than I normally cut, but you you can see that it's there's no no problem in the cutting edge at all. And I have used it a fair bit, so it does hold its edge forever. And uh, I would guess that a little bit of stropping would have it back to to original sharpness, but I really don't know. Vanax 75 is kind of a a mysterious steel to me. Nobody can really tell me what it's similar to. I've heard S110V and S90V and uh, CPM10V and stuff like that, but nobody can give me a definitive answer. Uh, I did move the clip to tip up carry. If you have it tipped down, then the knife sits like this in your pocket and it butts up against your pocket like this and then you have this jutting, jutting off into your pocket so it, it kinda looks if you were looking down on your pocket it looks like this so your pocket shape goes like that and this just kinda juts out into your pocket it's really strange if you flip it the other way then this lays flat against your pocket and it, it kinda stays to the to the back of your pocket like that it's much more comfortable to carry this way so I don't think it looks as good as with the clip right here, but it carries much better with it tip up. And I had no issues with it coming open in my pocket. So I do like that a lot better. I have taken the knife apart and the uh, KVT system is amazing. It's different than the IKBS because the ball bearings aren't free to uh, come out of the knife if you take it apart. They're actually held in a piece of plastic. It's kind of like it's kind of like if you remember those old cap guns that uh, that had the circular uh, the circular charges. You know, it would spin as you pulled the trigger. It kind of looks like that. So it's held in a blue a blue housing in there. I don't know if you can see the blue. You can see a little glint of blue in there, can't you? If it would focus. Oh well. Uh, anyway. It is real carbon fiber. Somebody asked me about that. This is titanium with a titanium liner, so it's actually a very, very light knife for the size. And uh, it's absolutely smooth. There's no blade play. And uh, it's just a really good knife. If you can, if you can find one to pre-order, I will go ahead and do it. Uh, there was only 300 made, or right around 300. But outside of the knife community this knife isn't known and really inside the knife community not many people know about this knife so I would venture to say that if you really want it you could still get it and uh, I suggest you try to if you want to it's a very very comfortable very ergonomic knife it's a big knife it's a very big very big knife but it's very light for its size and it's it's just a really great all-around knife uh, I'll probably keep doing little updates after I've used it more and kind of show how it how it looks when it's worn a little bit. So look, keep looking for that. Uh, this is going on long enough, so I think I'll cut it off here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please don't hate me just because I got it. I don't. I feel kind of awkward when people dislike my videos. <laughs> I know I shouldn't care, but 
I just really want to know why some people dislike it. I guess it really doesn't matter. Thanks for everybody who watches them. Uh, I want to congratulate the lock. He won my contest. It absolutely will not be my last contest. I'm already thinking up a new one. And I'm already thinking about what I want to give away. And it's probably going to be in the $70 to $100 range. Maybe like a, I don't know, a, a Buck Vantage Pro or maybe a, a Mini Grip or a Bone Collector. Something like that. So I will have a contest soon. And I will have a contest for the 18 and under crowd. So be looking for that, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and everything like that. I really appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time.